Today we are going to visit Azimut Leonardo, 98 feet that was built in 2003. She was kept in amazing condition over the years. As I'm going to point out during this video, uh, her main engines has been replaced to new in 2011 and now uh, there are only 400 running hours on these engines. Her owner is highly motivated to sell and this can be an amazing purchase opportunity for her new owner. Now join me for the detailed video which is going to be long. You can skip from one part uh, of the video to the other by using the chapters at the video description below. I will also put a link to the yacht page uh, at the video description below by clicking it. You can see the photos and the full specification list. Let's start. We are starting today the video from the flybridge. Uh, the camera is facing forward now. You can see that the on the foredeck there is a huge garage which is now covered. Uh, it can accommodate a 4.2 meter dinghy. It has a crane inside. Today we will not be able to open it. Now all these uh, green things which are waving there uh, are trying to prevent uh, birds to sit on the boat and to do their things. Uh, there are a lot of birds around here. So. This is the helm station. The equipment here is from um, is from Raymarine. Uh, it's the original equipment, which is uh, very reliable and very good. Uh, the yacht has track stabilizers. Uh, she also has a bow thruster here on the sides. We have uh, storage places in both sides. Turning the camera, this is the sitting place for the captain. You can see the condition of the upholstery. It's brand new, it has been totally renewed. Same for the seater here. On the port side, you can see the condition. Nice area to sit and dine. Uh, there is a bimini uh, which can be placed above us, but obviously we are now in a winterizing situation, so the bimini has been removed. Wet bar, sink, an electrical grill you can see the condition it's very good and down here below there is a fridge for beverages and on the other side ice maker now let's move backwards um, the, the aft part of the flybridge has a small jacuzzi. Uh, again, the upholstery all around is new. Um, we didn't put it all together, but there is a tick support for the mattresses, so it's either can be functioned as a sunbathing area or opened and used as jacuzzi. Let's have a quick look down to the transom and the sitting area at the aft deck. We will visit these places a little bit later during this video. And we are moving forward and we will go downstairs to check the interior. Let's check what we have here. Another storage place. And we are turning right on the starboard side. And there are stairs here down directly to the salon. So 
so this is the dining area there is a bar here and beautiful salon which has been kept in amazing condition so let's go down now as you can see there are there is a tick deck inside and under the dining because uh, it allows people who are coming wet uh, after swimming from the water platform which is there and we will visit it later all the way walking wet and upstairs to the flybridge without getting the carpets wet so here again another look let's move forward slightly the the seat the couches here are all uh, covered with the uh, uh, off-white leather which is in again very good condition you can hardly see any wear or tear on it um, you can see the ceiling uh, shiny the the gel coat looks fresh good lighting system uh, the boat has nice good light very good attention to details and we are going behind the bar you can see also the upholstery here on the walls it all looks very uh, clean and fresh now we have a, a great bar here to serve the salon uh, it's all uh, made from stainless steel there is even a small uh, stove here and and a sink and underneath we have a uh, quite a big fridge for beverages and on the other side ice maker this is the second ice maker on board and the second uh, beverage fridge now here we are going to just step down two or three stairs because I'm going to do all the way uh, from the guest accommodation this is the way to the crew accommodation and the engine room we are going to visit it from a different direction so let's go back and let's go back to the salon and we are moving forward to see the helm station the interior helm station there is big TV here and just before we enter the helm let's turn the camera and have another look at this beautiful wide uh, salon Azimut Leonardo 98 from 2003 and the main engines has been replaced in 2011 and has only 400 running hours okay we are in the helm station or pilot house there is uh, two doors to go out to the decks port side and starboard uh, some kind of uh, navigation table here with a very comfortable sofa again you can see that the leather is totally new uh, it all feels fresh all the upholstery uh, feels great the same for the chairs for the captain and additional two chairs facing forward <coughs> this boat has uh, even SSB radio here and a uh, Navtex uh, that's kind of a fax for Uno fax and quickly let's see what we have here we have a uh, Raymarine displays and the uh, MTU uh, engine display displays this is a master um, display from Raymarine to display depth wind speed and so on additional Raymarine display to displays 
you can display on them the chart plotter, the radar, uh, two analog uh, gouges for the RPM of the engines, and of course down here, autopilot, um, uh, this is a, uh, the bow thruster and the throttles. So we are moving to the starboard side. Again, there is another door here to go out to the decks. And let's have a quick look again to the salon from this angle. And now we are heading down into the guest accommodation. That's the way. Now then again, I want to uh, draw your attention to details. You can see the how shiny and well kept the, all the interior wood. It feels like new. There is no fading, no cracking. Very well kept. Now here, uh, there is a door and a small uh, day head. Very clean, very aesthetic furnished with the uh, marble and we are moving further down and reaching the main corridor now let's see uh, the cabin arrangement here master cabin is here here there is a twin cabin and forward there is a VIP cabin which will we will visit first it's a beautiful cabin and it kept as new though the boat is from 2003 Now the owner uh, is motivated to sell and here we are at the ensuite of the VIP cabin. Then again, beautiful marble work which kept as new shower good size shower the sliding door and the toilet is here there are no bad smells in the boat she's very clean and tidy so we are going back into the cabin and we will go back to the corridor and let's check the twin cabin here on the port side and this twin cabin has its own suite as well different color of uh, marble very well kept toilet and very good size shower same arrangement with a sliding door now what we can see here as well is that this cabin has a pullman bed this is this bed uh, which can accommodate uh, one more guest in this cabin now the guest cabins in general there are three there are three guest cabins here including the master cabin and soon we are going to see the arrangement for the fourth cabin and explain the option so having said that we are in the master cabin it's a full beam master cabin very well designed clean has very good light system upholstery uh, looks totally new has been renewed recently the wood uh, of the interior looks shiny 
without a scratch in each side there are three uh, windows one one of them is a port light which can be opened to provide fresh air this one same at the other side and we are entering the generous ensuite beautiful marble work here on the floor no cracks no scratches Here we can find the toilet. And turning back, we can see the bath on the other side. Places to hang towels up here. And the bath has shower inside. And some kind of a jacuzzi arrangement as well as two large windows one of them is a port light which can be open again when the condition allows it so we are going back into the master cabin now from here we are going to see the fourth guest cabin which can be um, also be used as the captain's cabin. Let's go to see it and I will explain more. There is a sliding door here. Sorry, it's not a sliding door. It's a normal door, which separates the master cabin from the walk-in wardrobe. There is a big hanging arrangement here. Uh, some shelves down here. And on the other side, there are some uh, drawers. Very deep drawers. And some closets. Now, there is another door here. At the back side of the, the master suite. This door leads to another cabin. Now, this cabin can be used uh, for children or for family, good friends, and so on. But if the door is closed, this cabin can also be used as the captain's cabin. We are already uh, connected to the crew area. Let's see more and you will understand exactly what I mean. Now, this small cabin has its own uh, bathroom shower uh, which is a wet shower on the floor a toilet and sink and here behind this door which is open this one we can find the crew cabin with two banks with proper beds at the moment the light uh, are under maintenance they are changing it to led lights so we can not see it fully lit in and the crew cabin this crew cabin has toilet and sink and and shower now then again this cabin i'm turning back to the same cabin that we visited can be used either as a captain's cabin or the fourth guest cabin by separating this door and lock it from inside now we are here in a small uh, corridor uh, we can call it a service corridor. There is a washing machine here and a dryer uh, for laundry and big volume for uh, storing some cleaning materials and so on. And we are moving uh, further in, turning right, which is turning forward in the boat, passing another door and here we are in a small crew mess and the galley it's a very nice and well arranged galley let me show you the details the working surfaces are from stainless steel there are two deep sinks here 
a stove with four stations and down there there is um, additional storage let's go all the way down and I will come back and show you more details this is a, a storage for dry provisioning and more storage space here it's quite deep inside underneath and uh, there is an oven with microwave here we have two large fridges in addition to the beverage fridges that we have already saw and two big freezers all made from stainless steel now there is an elevator here I'm not sure if it's working um, but this is an option for an elevator for food uh, to lift food to the flybridge and the salon then again another look to this galley and just ahead of us there is a place for dishwasher and the dishwasher is here from Millet and this table can be extended uh, and doubled and with another chair around it can accommodate three crew members to have their meals on the wall just in the wall just in front of the crew uh, mess there is a, a ship control screen which is now shut off so they can see the condition of the boat and uh, be aware of any alarm if any so now we are moving backwards and these are the stairs which I uh, went down behind the bar in the salon so this place can be reached from here as well that will be the main entrance to the galley and the engine room and here we are the electrical panels of the boat are here outside of the engine room which is nice arrangement without the noise and the heat and from here we are entering the engine room <clears throat> now at the heart of this engine room there are two MTU engines uh, they have been replaced uh, the old ones in 2011 one is here and one is here it is quite clear that the engines has been very lightly used uh, at the moment they have only 400 running hours which can be a great advantage for the for the new owner of the boat two generators from Kohler this one is with 35 kilowatts on the port side and on the starboard there is another generator from Kohler with 28 kilowatts and uh, this is the time to say that if you want to learn more about the technical details of the boat you can visit her webpage by using the link at the video description below uh, some electrical chargers and inverters uh, down here uh, water pumps 24 volts and 220 volts and let's move slightly backwards and see what else we have here in this engine room now down here in both sides starboard and port side there are kind of uh, passages backwards here uh, which we can see the water maker down there with the uh, uh, membranes and on the other side another passage uh, this is the air conditioning system from cruiser and the way backwards which leads you to the steering um, hydraulic steering pistons um, and allow uh, dealing with maintenance and uh, service so let's turn the camera and have a last look at the engine room Now this boat is equipped with the uh, track stabilizers 
uh, they are not zero speed but they are available fin track stabilizers uh, you can also see the huge silencers for the for the exhaust system uh, generally speaking this engine room looks very tidy very clean and in good condition now we are stepping uh, further backwards uh, through a watertight door small watertight door this one into a garage and now this garage can be opened hydraulically and when in use you can put the uh, deck equipment lines fenders and everything uh, which the boat needs for her deck equipment very useful now we are just going to go out through the aft door and let's have a quick visit on the water platform so this is a place for the hydraulic passerelle which is now under service and we see the transom here let's take a quick walk around now we are stepping back on the deck and this is a good chance to see the aft deck beautiful seating area there is a bimini or sun owing arrangement for this area but since we are in winterizing mode we don't have it installed now uh, the table that you see is actually covered with protection it's not its uh, original surface um, now uh, the boat has this uh, typical Leonardo curved glass at the back and when you open these two big sliding doors here you can actually uh, create one huge area uh, from here to the front side of the boat until the pilot house okay from here we will move forward slowly on the starboard side and that will be a good opportunity to see the deck condition the decks are a little bit wet this morning but the teak condition is very reasonable uh, you can see also the the gel coat condition which feels alive uh, connections and seal of the windows also in good condition the tinting on the windows have very very little scratches nothing uh, which should bother you A stainless railing here and the paint condition I'll try to show you over the deck um, it's a little bit hard and we proceed forward uh, this is the starboard door to the pilot house a little bit of maintenance job renewing the seal there are shades for the windows again in new condition and we are moving forward all what you see here this this stuff is to prevent birds to sit on the rail and to do their business in this area it's a, it's a big problem with a lot of seagulls sitting everywhere and doing their thing and now under this uh, this is actually a big garage for a dinghy it will accommodate a dinghy of 4.2 meter uh, without outboard it has to be a jet dinghy uh, or you you put the, the the outboard after you take the dinghy out it's quite a flat garage 
uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video we will not be able to open it today it's under service but it's uh, in, in fully operational condition um, we are moving forward now uh, we came to the bow and we have here two big anchors uh, windlasses from Lou France and one more capstan from Lou France and down here we have the connection for the remote control so that was the that was the Azimut Leonardo 98 from 2003 with new engines from 2011 she's now seriously for sale she can be a great opportunity for a buyer uh, her owner is motivated to sell uh, if you want to learn more about the boat uh, you can contact me directly or visit the website by using the link at the video description below